Hey there, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. We're going to use a gradient map to create an awesome artwork. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we're in Photoshop and we're going to create a very vibrant and very simple poster using Ada Photoshop. And very first thing, let's create a new artboard and for that press Ctrl and N. And then I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop this uh, image right over here. Let's make it a little bigger, I guess. Yep, like that. And then let's add a solid in the background. Let's go for kind of darker color, something like that. Let's do a little color adjustment. So select this layer, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And then uh, let's uh, drop down the highlights. Uh, let's increase the shadow a little bit. Let's increase the clarity texture Let's drop down the saturation just like so and let's increase the exposure a little bit Yep, just like that and let's click and okay So this is what we got and then Let's add a gradient map. So that's the only thing that we're going to use in this tutorial. So let's go over here and click on gradient map. So from here, let's change uh, the black to kind of little off black, something like that. And let's change the mid-tone mid -tone to kind of purple color. So let's click over here and let's go for kind of more purple somewhere somewhere around here and then anyway we're gonna tweak this later anyway so let's keep it like that and let's add a one more color and for this one i'd like to go with more kind of orange kind of like that and let's see let's do some adjustment let's drag somewhere around here and maybe let's add one right over here let's give a kind of warmer color something like that you know what like let's move this somewhere around here yeah let's add an orange right over here and then a yellow and yep this is what we got and let's click on ok and now let's add a new layer on the bottom go to brush and I'm going to use uh, this brush, so select this one and then with a kind of white color, let's add some strokes right around here. Let's drop down the opacity a little bit, something like that. Let's go right over here, create a new layer again with the same color, with the same brush, but change the color to black. And let's add something like that at the bottom. And let's drop down the opacity a little bit. Now let's add a text. Now let's add a text right over here. And control T. Let's move it maybe somewhere around here. And again, let's do the same thing. Create a new layer. Right click, create clipping max. And with the same brush, let's add some strokes. Before that, let's change the color to white. And let's add some strokes right around here. Let's add one more text right around here. Control T. Let's move it right around here. And then let's add a one more text on the bottom. And June 6, 2023. And maybe for this one, let's change the font uh, to kind of. Let's go for this one. And let's keep it somewhere in the center. Right around here. Let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. Let's move it on the very top. Uh, let's change the text.
and then let's drag and drop a uh, texture on very top uh, let's change the blending mode to screen Control t let's make it a little smaller okay, let's add a rotation just like so and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye